Hey folks, 10 tips to improve our productivity as programmers. Actually, there will be 11. 10 sounds much better. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, let's start, let's jump in. First one, find your productivity hours. You should know which time in the day works the best for you, in which time you are most productive, and do not spend this time for meetings. Try to do most important tasks at that time. We all have our productivity hours. If you don't know your hours yet, give a try to the mornings. I am waking up very early, up about 4 5 a.m. I was going sleep late all my 20s but in my 30s I decided that I will like to try to switch to the to be morning person and it works out very well for me. I spent my mornings to learn programming, start freelancing and so on so morning hours is great. Everyone is still sleeping, no one bothers you and you can work on your most important tasks. Give a try to that. If not, maybe those are evenings for you, whatever do most important uh, work on those hours. Second one, sorry, but I have to say that sleep. <laughs> sleep is very important. Uh, do not try to trick your body. You can work in short bursts to meet some deadlines or something like that on, uh, on short sleep, but sleep deprivation in a long time will do not work good for you. And uh, you have to feel energized and uh, full of power during the day. Everyone is different, for someone it's six hours, but usually it's seven, eight hours what we need uh, for sleep to feel good and be productive. If you feel tired in the middle of the day, try to take a nap instead of coffee. Prioritize. Write down your top three tasks for the day what you want to complete. Use those like day highlights. That will allow to be focused on the goals and do not be distracted with incoming information during the day. Also, that helps when you will need to make some prioritizations during the day. You don't need any tools for that. You can use iPad, <laughs> as I do, or you can use just sticky notes, piece of paper, whatever, everything will work. Just keep it around your workspace to do not forget your priorities for the day or highlights for the day when you will be distracted during the day. Paper could work even better than apps because sometimes you open an application to check your tasks and found you how, how later scrolling Instagram mindlessly or just chatting with friends in Twitter. Number four in our list, time boxing. What's that how to use? Plan big chunks of the time for productive work. Do not multitasking, try to concentrate on one thing at the time. Human beings are not good for multitasking, we are working very well with single tasks. If you think that it is not about you, I'm happy to hear, but still, try to avoid multitasking and compare the results. If necessary, try to use Pomodoro technique for concentration. Two hours of work on one task without interruptions is way more valuable than four chunks of 13 minutes of work between meetings or, I don't know, Netflix series. Number five in our list. Declutter your physical and digital environment to avoid distractions during the work. Disable notifications, clean your desk. If necessary, remove sound with a pair of uh, good headphones just to keep your focus on task. Try to get into the deep uh, focus workflow during the day. We are already on point six. Limit yourself. Set deadlines for the tasks that you are working on. Accordingly, Parkinson's law. Let me read it. Work expands to fill all the time that we allocate to it. That's Parkinson's law. So basically, if you will have months, you will spend the months. If you will have a week, you will do that task in the week. So avoid unnecessary research and so on. You know how fast you can work before deadline, right? So set the time limits on your tasks, even if you are working on your own projects and there is no other boss over this project but you. If the task is too big to finish it in one day, it is too big, it is not detailed enough and you have to split it into smaller subtasks. Plan when you will finish them and work towards your goal. So if you are talking about tasks, we have to talk about to-do lists as well. Use them, create to-do lists, use to-do applications, whatever works. I'm using OmniFocus. To-do lists are great to dump all the necessary tasks out of your mind and do not worry about remembering to do that. You keep your mind free for thinking. I'm usually planning my one day ahead on the evening I am planning uh, tasks for the next day. Morning works as well, but 
please do that. Time tracking, that is good one. Track your time and you will see where your time is going. Especially if you are freelancer, that is essential, then you will see how much time you spend for each customer and you can get nice looking reports out of your system to see how much time you spend on uh, freelance work, how much time you spend on project hunting, on invoicing, whatever. I am doing that as well for my own projects and for freelancing customers, uh, whatever customer asks me for reports or not, I have my time reports for each of them to see how much time I spend on all, all the tasks. And also time tracking will show how good you are on estimation. If you estimated the necessary time for your tasks, you will see how good your estimate was and you will make corrections for next time. That's important for billing as well, to see how much you should estimate and charge for your project. Number nine in our list, take breaks. Sleeping is important by night, breaks are important in day. It's about recommended to take a break in every 3-4 hours and that is just not healthy to sit all the day in front of a computer. When you concentrate on tasks, you can find yourself that you sitting 8 hours or even more in the line in front of computer. If you feel that you hit the wall and can solve the problem, get away from computer, go for a walk, that can help to restart your thinking process and find solutions for your problem. Just try that, believe me. Uh, happened with me multiple times. Automate or just avoid unnecessary work. As soon as you will start time tracking, you will see where your time is going. And review your tasks, take a look, take a fresh eye look on your tasks and review what do you do, do you really need to do that, maybe you can delegate something, maybe you can automate something. I automated iOS up uh, deploying, uh, screenshot generation, uploading to the App Store and so on using Fastline. It took for me one day to learn how to use it and implement this uh, in my workflow and now I will be able to solve up to two hours for each uh, iOS app release. And number 11, know your tools. If you're a programmer, you have to know in and out for your ID, Xcode, for example, uh, most of the shortcuts you just should know how to use them because it is way faster than uh, browse with mouse in user interface. Look around what else you can improve, maybe some applications could be replaced to work faster and again partly automate your process. I, for example, learning touch typing, I am still typing like boomer with uh, four or three fingers, I don't know, maybe six, maximum six fingers and Currently I am learning to touch typing, to type with all the 10 fingers, to do that a little bit better. And I hope that will improve my speed of work and productivity. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to ask, drop them down in the comments. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Let me know your favorite productivity tips and tools. So hit the like button if you like this video. There is subscribe button next to like button as well. Do not miss that also. And thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. I need haircut, that just horrible, just horrible. I hope that barbershops will be open soon.